a projectile is fired at an angle to the horizontal. Graphically, argue a case for the vertical and horizontal velocity components of the velocity vector as a function of time. Show the heading of the projectile. Ignore air resistance. Assume that acceleration due to gravity is a constant. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Thank you. So here is our gun firing. So if you have a velocity vector that is at an angle to the horizontal, then that velocity vector can be resolved into its horizontal component and vertical component. In the absence of air resistance, the horizontal component is unaffected by gravity. And that is roughly negative 9.8 meters per second per second. That's how much your velocity vector is going to change every second. The y component of the velocity vector is going to change by negative 9.8 meters per second per second. I said horizontal component of the velocity vector is unaffected by gravity. That means what? There is no change. No change for the velocity along the horizontal. That means the final horizontal velocity is the same as the starting horizontal component. The horizontal component of the velocity vector does not change. The horizontal component of the velocity vector does not change. Horizontal component of the velocity vector does not change. How about the vertical component of the velocity vector? Only the vertical velocity is affected by the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity points vertically down. It is towards the center of the Earth. So the horizontal velocity vector or the horizontal component of the velocity vector remains unchanged. What about the vertical component of the velocity vector? The vertical component of the velocity vector, don't forget our velocity vector, it used to, our velocity vector was like that, right? So now we have an x component and a y component. All right, and the y component is that much, all right? And let's assume this is the angle theta, horizontal. X is to the right, Y is vertically up. Horizontal velocity is unaffected by gravity. What does that mean? That means we cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. This is the horizontal distance that is covered. Assuming all the dots are done at equal intervals of time, then the distance is covered should be all right, so the distances along the horizontal should remain the same. The magnitude is a constant. So here is the magnitude. This is the magnitude. And what is the direction? This is the magnitude. And what is the direction? This is the magnitude. And what is the direction? This is the magnitude. And what is the direction? And this is the magnitude. And what is the direction? So it is going to cover that much distance per unit time. So horizontal velocity is a constant. That means what? We cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. That is not the case along the vertical. The vertical velocity is going to be affected by acceleration due to gravity pointing down. Acceleration due to gravity points vertically down. So let's call this point A, let's call this point B, point C, point D, point E, and point F. As you can see, at point A, the y component of the velocity vector points vertically up along positive y, but acceleration due to gravity points vertically down. At point B, the y component of the velocity vector, so this is our 
velocity vector at point B and the y component is just this much all right so at point B the y component of the velocity vector points up vertically up but the acceleration due to gravity points vertically down at point C the y component of the velocity vector is equal to zero assuming point C is at the maximum height all right at point D the y component of the velocity vector points vertically down and the acceleration due to gravity also points vertically down at point E the y component of the velocity vector points vertically down and the acceleration due to gravity also points vertically down at point F I cannot draw point F, so let me put it here, all right? The horizontal velocity vector stays the same. The vertical velocity vector is going to be big, all right? So this is the Y component of the velocity vector at point F, all right? So the, the Y component of the velocity vector at point F points vertically down and the acceleration due to gravity also points vertically down. So while climbing up from A to C, you're on the way up. So while you're on the way up, what happens to the velocity along the vertical? It goes down in value until it reaches zero because the Y component of the velocities and the acceleration are in opposite directions. At point C, instantaneously, the speed comes to zero. Vertical speed comes to a zero. But the acceleration due to gravity is still there, negative 9.8 meters per second per second. At point D, what happens? From, this, from the velocity of zero, from the vertical velocity of zero, at point D, it is going to change to zero plus negative 9.8. How about at point E? It'll be negative 9.8 more than what we had at point D, assuming from point D to point E is one second. You can go on like that. At point F, assuming at point F it is one second later, it will be negative 9.8 more than what you had at point E. So at, at point C, the vertical velocity is equal to zero. At point D, the vertical component of the velocity vector at point D as in David is pointing down. At point E, the vertical component of the velocity vector points down. At point F, the vertical component of the velocity vector points down. So on the way down from C to D to E to F to whatever point you're interested, the velocity vector keeps increasing in value, in magnitude. So let's put it all together. Here is our velocity vector. Here is our velocity vector. It has a component to the right, Y component that points vertically up. X is to the right, Y is vertically up. X is to the right, Y is vertically up. X is to the right, Y velocity is equal to zero. X is to the right, Y is vertically down. X is to the right, Y is vertically down. X is to the right, Y is can't draw. All right. Again, the horizontal velocity vector remains the same, but the vertical velocity vector now, just like before, is pointing down, but it is gaining, it is gaining value. The horizontal remains the same, but the vertical now is increasing. So don't forget, the horizontal remains the same. The vertical is very big. It's getting big and big. So now what happens to the heading of the vector? And this, so this is our 
horizontal velocity vector that never changes and this is our vertical velocity vector that always changes why does the vertical component of the velocity change and increase in magnitude as it comes down because velocity the y component of the velocity vector and the acceleration and the acceleration the y component of the velocity vector and the acceleration are in the same direction so what happens to the speed it increases so on the way down from the maximum height the velocity and the acceleration are in the same direction so the speed increases in value all right so what is this heading heading is always you put your x on the way up you have x to the right y velocity up x to the right don't forget the final velocity along the horizontal is the same as the initial velocity along the horizontal because acceleration due to gravity is along the vertical so what is the heading all right so you join and that is your heading of the vector all right and on the way down what happens on the way down you have x still the same but the y is going to increase in value all right so you put the the y here and join so this is your velocity vector And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. Don't forget, you watch, you play, you pause, you learn. Hey, thank you. It was a pleasure.